Here are three ways you can add text to your Leonardo images. Canvas Editor. You can add text in Canvas Editor. Now, first of all, I am in infinite mode. This is typically the default whenever you go into Canvas. However, and it does unfortunately have a few choices that you can use. So that's why I actually choose to get out of infinite mode and move into focus mode, which gives me quite a bit more work. So I can have, I can change the modes. I can actually change my models. I can do a lot more in focus mode than I can in infinite mode. So with this image of my dog Brownie that I actually was able to put in to Leonardo and create a digital, an AI generated image of her almost exactly of the picture I took, I can go ahead and I can add text to this. So what we do is we go over to the text menu item, and then we can choose the color of the text. In this case, I'm going to stick with, I'm going to actually go with a darker green just for the sake of this. And then I can actually go ahead and choose the different models that I have here. You know, let's go to impact because impact is a lot stronger and I want to do something like that. So here we have impact font, green lettering. And where we want to put the text, we'll see that the, the pointer actually has that little cross here. We can put the text box here. So it comes up with something right here. And then we can say, I am judging you. So in order to see this a little bit better, we're going to increase the size of the font by highlighting it and making it a little bit bigger. We can move this over right here. And you can pretty much edit it like you can almost any other font that you've ever worked with. Green might not have been a better, would, might not have been a very good choice, but it is there. So let's go ahead. And if we want to change the font, by the way, if we want to change the font or the coloring of the font, we can go ahead, highlight it and change it to white. Or at least a lighter shade. Great. So I am judging you. You can go ahead and move this around. You can move it to the top. You can change the size and maybe move it to the side here, something on the side here and change the font color and maybe shape and size. But that's one of the ways that you can manipulate text in Canvas Editor in Leonardo. Image to image. You can add text in with Leonardo by using the image guidance section. Now notice that I am in legacy mode because that's the only way to access this feature at the moment um, specifically. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually go ahead and play around. As you can see, I already have a picture of my dog here. Her name is Brownie. And I actually have an, a text image input here that says I am bougie Brownie because that's what I call. So what you can do is you can go ahead and you can change the strength of each image. If you want to have a high image for the character reference, which basically means that it comes up with a likeness of the image that you are currently input. And then you can go ahead and do the strength of I am bougie or whatever it is you're putting in and make sure whenever you put it in a text in here, you put it in with a black background and a very strong white lettering. That's the one stipulation that they have for the text image that you're going to be inputting. So let's go ahead and take a look and say I put it at, you can, the maximum strength you can put the text input is two. So I'm going to put the text input at my original like 0.5 something. All right, 0.58 is good. We're going to put her image as a strong high. And then we're going to put image of a dog with logo. And notice here that I'm in Leonardo Kino, and I can choose to do that, this envision, diffusion, whatever I want. And of course, the presets or the element, yeah, the presets will change according to that. So in this case, I'm going to go with creative, not just dynamic. If I need to add elements, I will do so. And I can also have an optional negative prompt to this. But so far, since we have this as our image guidance, then we can go ahead and play around with it. So let's go ahead and render and see what this comes up with. And of course, as it's working here, you'll see that the generation history is where the image is going to be. So you need to switch to this tab. 
and wait. Excellent. So let's take a look at these renders. And you can see here, this is actually a pretty good... It, the one thing that you realize is that if you put it as like a 0.5 or less than 0.1, it won't exactly come out with the right text. So you want to put it up a little bit stronger. But this is still a pretty good rendering that you can play around with and maybe even manipulate if you want in Canvas. So again, it's 0.57, so the actual text will not come out exactly, but I think that found that first one was actually pretty good. And this one was actually really good. If you're doing something like a product, um, like a doggy product named Bougie Brownie, for example, this is actually a pretty good image. You may have to just edit this little part, but for the most part, this is actually a really solid image to play around with. So again, manipulate the text image input strength let's put it up to one and just show 1.04 and let's go ahead and try that one more time and you'll see that it does come up with a little bit more adherence to the text and then it would also come up with another type of image okay here we go and as you can see here while the character reference is high the higher strength does tend to push back the character image so you want to be able to just find a happy medium so we're seeing here this one does have text integrity a stronger text integrity this one's actually pretty good you can just edit that and then you can go ahead and play around with it so that's one way that you can add text in leonardo or manipulate text in leonardo leonardo phoenix now, one of the best ways I have found to create font or text with an image in Leonardo AI is with the Phoenix preset. Now, currently you see that I am in legacy mode, and if I want to actually use the Phoenix preset, I have to come out of legacy mode. The, inter the interface will change. And now I am in Leonardo Phoenix, which is the foundational preset. Now, as you can see here, this is from when I use the image to image section. And while we can do that in other areas, we can't exactly do that in Leonardo Phoenix yet. From what I understand, that is something that they're working on. So on this side here of Leonardo Phoenix, and then I have, if I want to do a graphic design vector, for example, if I'm doing something for a t-shirt um, or a poster, a brochure, something fun uh, for my business, then I can go ahead and choose that graphic design vector. I can use graphic design, pop art, cinematic, bouquet, whatever other preset styles I can I can think of in, a, in anything. I think the preset styles are kind of akin to a very intense filter. Like you have those filter apps on your when you're going into Instagram. It's kind of like that. Um, but let's go ahead and play around and see how we can render some text-based images and then edit them. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go a picture of a dog. Cheap brown dog with a serious expression. Caption. Yes. Caption colon. I found the colon to be very useful. Yes, I'm judging you. exclamation point. Now I'm going to go ahead and improve this prompt. You can do improve prompt as long as your prompt is, I think, 200 characters or fewer. You can go ahead and implement improve prompt. And what it'll do is it'll be for the prompt in a way that Leonardo can better understand. So it's kind of like a translator. And then you can go ahead and let's see what this graphic design vector looks like. Okay, here we have an, an a cute dog. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see, the judge the judgy dog is right here. However, the font is not, and I realized that in this um, improved font, Leonardo did not quite recognize the text. So what I did was that I modified the font. It says around with the caption, and then I put that in quotation marks. So that could also be a delimiter that you might want to use 
either single quotes, double quotes, colons, whatever it is, just to let Leonardo know that this is the caption or this is the text you want to add into your image. So let's go ahead and regenerate this. Excellent. So here we have what looks to be maybe a chow mix um, with the captions of, yes, I'm judging you. You can see right here, the actual text itself is great. I have not seen anybody really come up with something like this, really adherent text in such a long time. And I'm very excited about Phoenix. Here we have this in quotation marks. And here we have another one and this on the top. So any one of these is worthy of memes or perhaps product um, placement, advertisement. So you can create your own text within the image with Phoenix itself. Now, if I wanted to do something a little bit more fun and in a little bit funnier, I can go ahead and click this icon here, which is the edit with AI. And I can do something like say, make this funnier. And it's just a little tweak to it. You don't have to, it'll actually regenerate the image itself. So let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, here we have, see, they've made it funnier. Dog's got glasses. Yes, I'm joined and impressed and I'm not impressed. So, I mean, you can definitely play around with it and have a lot of fun with this preset in whatever you're doing. And these are just a few ways that you can add text in Leonardo so far. So thanks for your time and I will see you in the next video.